Welcome back to uh, A Guy Learning How to Draw podcast episode three, three four, I can't remember. Um, today, we're going to catch up on, on a few things uh, involving Benson Cactus, which is a, a comic that I started working with at the very beginning of trying to teach myself how to draw, uh, and I have been changing and developing it quite a lot uh, over the past couple of years, and kind of, you can sort of track my... Um, learning curve and my uh, change in ability and some of the lessons that I've learned along the way um, by looking at some of these pages. And by the way, if you're wondering why I'm wearing a cowboy hat, it's because I'm bald and I need a haircut and these lights above me that are the track lights in the ceiling make my head glow like a bowling ball. So I wasn't sure if I dated these. I don't think I did. These are, <laughs> these are the oldest uh, Benson and Cactus pages, which are actually the first um, comic pages I, I kind of tried to draw. It is classic me where I go, I want to do this, and then I just go and I do the end result. I just go ahead and go, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a comic artist. I'm going to be a graphic illustrator. Okay, well, that's what I am now, and I'm just going to finish a page. So the uh, I had drawn a little bit, you know, growing up. I was okay at it. And, you know, I drew a little bit in high school. Um, I did okay in art, cl art class and stuff like that, but I didn't take it as seriously as I kind of wish I did. A couple of years ago, I approached a friend of mine and I said, do you have any ideas that you have, like, in writing that you'd want to maybe try seeing in a comic form? Uh, so that's where he came up, he came to me with a short story that he wrote called Duchovny and Cactus, and it was basically... Um, you know, the guy who plays Mulder in X-Files, uh, and his partner's a potted cactus, and it was, like, a very, very short little joke, one joke story. So, I did this four, as four pages, this was the first page, and I actually, after the fact, decided I didn't like the design of, you know, cactus in this frame, I didn't like the design of the face, so right away I was already trying to change things, so I was drawing and scanning those in and, and then uh, replacing them. Crazily enough, I actually, you know, I sent this in to a particular publisher and I kind of feel pretty ashamed of that because I actually thought this was good. I mean, it was the first time I'd ever tried to do anything with a brush. I'd never tried to ink with a brush. So pretty much immediately I went, okay, that was the first try. If you notice, this is the wrong size. This is the wrong format. This is actually a European format of page, but I was literally just buying thick cardboard and inking right on it, not, you know, really paying any attention to artboard shape, uh, format, you know, layout, anything like that. I was just going, well, yeah, this obviously looks like a comic page. So pretty much immediately I started again and I went to uh, the same boards. It took me a long time to get out of this, this size. And you can see here, I, this is also a taped on, you know, trying to figure out how to draw the roof of the car um, fix. I said to the writer, this is a cool idea for, for a comic, an ongoing comic. Let's uh, write episodes, like literally uh, issue by issue, and let's change the name. So another friend of mine actually came up with the idea of calling him Benson instead of Duchovny. So uh, right away, you see a bit of an improvement uh, between, I mean, even the, the house doesn't look that far off, you know. The house looks relatively similar, but you can see that the character has come a long way. Made him a lot younger, made him a little bit of his own character, and uh, started running with him in that kind of direction. Always with this um, uh, trench coat, you know, very stereotypical. But it's, I kind of look at it as kind of like a, a costume. Like this is his his shtick. His his costume is this trench coat. Um, but I was rather happy with, with pages like this, not necessarily the vehicles, because some of them are a little rough. Again, I'm freehanding them probably too much out of my own head. I wasn't doing enough research, like go find Google images or something to show um, this specific model of car or whatever. I was literally just freehanding out of my head, there's a van, there's a taxi, this, that, which is okay to a degree. A couple more pages from this, uh, this first almost full comic, and I had somebody else color this. I had a lot of colored pages finished. Um, you know, some of them like there here. I'm actually feeling a little bit more confident in my line weight. So you can actually kind of see this progression, page by page, panel by panel. Again, experimenting with clothing folds. This is no rhyme or reason. I'm not 
researching this shirt. I was literally just going, folds, looks like this, and that's not how to do it. You want to look at photo reference and understand where um, the lines on a shirt are pulling, like in different directions depending on how the body is moving and standing. Sometimes you want to literally pull from a photo reference of that pose or start just understanding where the pulls are. I started going down this route of experimenting with different looks. So I took a scene out of yet another episode of this potential saga and went, okay, what if it looked like this? So I, st I started really playing with shadows and and blacking, filling in black areas on the panels to to you know create a dynamic look, um, play with negative space in the in the whites and blacks. So this is a, a crime scene. Obviously, Benson and Cactus are looking at it. Uh, dead kid on the floor. Who the writer wanted her to have a balloon stretched over her face. Not an easy thing to draw. Not a lot of references for Google searches for dead children with balloons over their faces. Not a good thing to to look at. Um, or put into your search engine. I didn't, by the way, I didn't search for that. So this was where I started taking the same page and then drawing it twice and going, okay, what if it was a back, a black background? And also, by the way, you'll notice that I've, I've come down in size, but still I was taking the, the, the store-bought cardstock, cutting it in half and getting to a point where I was working with an 11 by 17 space. And the reason I went down to 11 by 17 was, well, I mean, eventually I would discover that's where your comic artists generally are working at. Um, but it was, it was not just because this is how it's done, but because a comic artist that I really respect and um, kind enough to give me some of his time that I ask you know, questions about drawing uh, and technique, he says to me, well, yes, these, these, these big pages that I was showing him, yes, you know, I was getting places, I was learning, but try consolidating your lines so you're, if you draw way out here, you draw this huge page, your lines to show the same character are really far apart and this, the weight of the line is roughly the same unless you're sitting there with a great big brush doing great big lines that are then reduced down. I thought draw big, reduce down looks better, right? Which is essentially what they are doing in, in comics but only do it by one or two times, not like four times like I was doing. Um, and practicing uh, style, which I, which I did several times with different pages from the same kind of story, you know, have him a sequence of shots of them sitting uh, at a um, at an office desk. You know, in, in one version, uh, Cactus is um, is very plain. You know, no background in this, obviously, but in the, the light isn't really playing. So then you go Kuros Kuroskawa, Kuros whatever it's called. Film noir. So you go over with this very film noir look over here where, you know, the shadows are there and the Venetian blinds are shaded on his face and, and really playing with the, the light direction. Uh, here again, here's yet another page. This is actually the moment that I started cutting the pages smaller uh, and going down to a smaller page and getting more out of those pages. But a lot of work. Every single time I did a new page, I was cutting another page. So eventually, I said, let's do a... a uh, a 10 page test comic. So this was a, a simple 10 page idea. I, I did a hand water colored cover uh, that then I added this this texture to it in the computer and and did a layout which I think did pretty looked pretty good um, and it was this was the idea was a proof of concept putting it in you know stores or whatever it was actually a, a you know I actually went through and did 10 full pages um, again re you know, redesigning the, the look a little bit, simplifying it, losing a lot of the hatch lines, staying just with brush, well, uh, you know, in this iteration. I colored it in the computer and shaded it in the computer um, and then, uh, then did a black and white version of it as well. So this was my first attempt at finishing something, uh, putting in um, uh, the word balloons and lettering it. This was actually uh, not enough pages because you need to divide by four. And I actually used some of the old art that had been colored and, and toned it uh, in the advertisement pages. So it's like, you know, it's, not, it's from nothing. It's just a scene from, from another uh, issue or whatever uh, just to, to be used in that, in that way. So that 10 pages, I had gotten to a specific point and then I, I still I came away from it and going, you know what, okay, now I'm you know, better because I went on and tr tried a whole bunch of other stories, did 
you know, pages of fantasy, pages of sci-fi, and continue to build and, and develop that style. So, here we are going to the London Comic Convention, and my business partner said, well, what if you, you know, dusted off this Benson and Cactus concept and actually did another, you know, hard copy book to have there? So, don't have a lot of time. So, I said, well, why don't we take the same short story, which is like a little 10-page procedural jokey thing, just a flavor of Benson and Cactus, and I'll just redraw it. I'll redraw the same story.